Hey, how's it going everyone? What is up? Welcome back to the channel and your daily dose of Mortal Kombat 11 news, leaks, and discussions. Today we're going to be talking about the Game Awards. The Game Awards are in a few short hours. We're gonna get all of the Game Awards goodness. We'll be streaming it live here on YouTube, so make sure you're subscribed and you have your notifications turned on for that. We have a few pieces of information to break down. Uh, nothing really grounded in reality, just pure speculation and some things that were actually sent out on Twitter yesterday. So we'll go ahead and get into that. So the Game Awards, if you guys don't know a little bit of backstory for NRS at the Game Awards, the whole reason we're even speculating here for the Game Awards is because in 2018, Mortal Kombat was actually, Mortal Kombat 11 was actually revealed at the 2018 Game Awards. Ed Boon interrupted the sports and racing uh, genre award to reveal Mortal Kombat 11. So they kind of have a history, not a storied history, granted. So some people are kind of reaching with confirming that something will be announced at the Game Awards. But we do have some eh, hit or miss info uh, here and there. Yesterday, I don't know if you guys watched the video, if you remember or not, or if you just saw it on your own. Ed Boon did accidentally send out this accidental tweet. It looks like it was supposed to be a DM to a guy named uh, Victor, you know, talking about getting something through the approval process, you know, with WB. Um, some people, this was kind of split down the middle. Some people were thinking it was an accidental tweet, talking about, of course, what it says, getting something approved through WB. And of course, if it's important enough and it needs to happen soon enough, it can be run through the approval process with a company like WB for, again, if it's important enough, uh, next day. You know, it can be ready for the next day. And if you guys don't know, Victor, uh, the only person that is follow if the Ebun is following named Victor is a guy who has worked on EP Daily with Jeff Keeley uh, for a while now, apparently. Or at least previously in the past. And if you guys don't know, Jeff Keeley is the one hosting the Game Awards. So... The connection is kind of there. I know a lot of people are grasping at straws for more of a connection to be there. Um, and then the other half of people are kind of thinking that Ed did this on purpose just to troll people because he knows that the Game Awards were tomorrow. Send out an accidental goof tweet. Delete the tweet. You're going to have people like me speculating about it on YouTube. So maybe it was planned. A lot of people are kind of cut like down the middle. Like the everything's kind of cut down the middle for it. Half the people think, you know, it was not on purpose. Uh, the other half think it w was a troll. Here's here's my only thing when it comes to the Game Awards. And that's really all we have. Besides the fact that Mortal Kombat 11 was revealed at the Game Awards in 2018. That's legitimately all the news that we have uh, for anything like that. Uh, now, here's my thing when it comes to anything actually being revealed today for the Game Awards. Um, Mortal Kombat 11 just received Combat Pack 2. Combat Pack 2 is literally still fresh off the palette. Uh, it came out the 17th of last month, so we're, we, we're not even a month into this combat pack. We haven't even enjoyed these characters for a full month yet, and people are already thinking there's going to be a reveal for more content. Now, granted, the other games do do it, but NetherRealm really never has. We waited a four and a half month span to actually get Combat Pack 2's reveal. We waited four and a half months from Aftermath to Combat Pack 2 before we actually ever even got any news or information for it. And we waited, I think it was a two month span from Aftermath to, uh, or from Combat Pack 1 to Aftermath, from March to May. So actually, that was about a three month span. So we really are kind of grasping at straws, thinking that more uh, content for Mortal Kombat 11 will actually be revealed today, not even a month out from Combat Pack 2's release. So, yeah, I, I really think everybody's kind of reaching on that. Now, when it comes to the game reveal for Mortal Kombat, or not really Mortal Kombat, but NetherRealm Studios in general, Mortal Kombat 11 is moving into its second year of being alive. There has been no information saying that Mortal Kombat 11 is done. As far as we know, this game is still receiving content and will receive more content in the near future. Now, is that saying that we could not receive another game reveal today? Uh, to continue, you know, hyping up and developing and getting trailers 
uh, continuing through Mortal Kombat 11's eventual death next year. You know, go ahead and get us hyped up. Get us hyped up for the content coming out to end Mortal Kombat 11, and then get us hyped up for the game that would release maybe early 2022 or late 2021. That is definitely entirely possible. Is it likely, though? I really don't think it is. The Game Awards is one of the best places to reveal a new game or whatever else. Mortal Kombat 11 proved that by being revealed at the Game Awards, but we don't know how long Mortal Kombat 11 is going to last. Ed Boon has said Mortal Kombat 11 is going to last longer than any other NRS game, and when Combat Pack 2 was about to be released, he did make quite a few statements saying that it wasn't even close to done. Uh, so... We really don't know how long this game's going to last. We don't know if it's going to last for another year, if it's going to last for another two years. We're kind of in the dark on this game's lifespan, and it's just at the point where we have to sit back and wait and see. But I definitely think it's going to at least receive another year of support, maybe another couple of content packs, but I could be wrong. I'm kind of like split in my feelings here. Half of me feels like there could be a reveal today, and then the other half of me is like, nah dude, they said that this game isn't even close to done, so don't be expecting anything. This is probably going to be our NRS game for the next year at least. So I really don't know how to feel about it. I definitely think there is a possibility of a reveal today for something at least when, with NRS. Of course, I can't confirm anything, but it is definitely a real possibility. There's people on the internet saying it's not likely at all, and then there's the people saying it's pretty much confirmed, and I don't really fit e either of those categories, and I think you guys should be weathering your expectations going into this. If you're expecting nothing at all, that's not a bad thing to do, but if you're expecting, uh, you know, Jesus to come down from the heavens and hand you more content and a game reveal at this Game Awards, I would weather my expectations. I really would not go into these uh, into this Game Awards event thinking that everything is going to be revealed, a new game, Injustice 3, you know, Marvel vs. DC, Marvel vs. Mortal Kombat, and more content for MK11. Weather your expectations and you will not be disappointed, but that's all we can do. The Game Awards are in a few hours. Like I said, I'll be streaming them live here on YouTube, so again, make sure you're subscribed, and also, while you're at it, like the video and leave me a comment down below. I really appreciate it, but that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below love to hear what you guys think do you think there's going to be a reveal do you think there's not going to be a reveal do you think mk fans are a little bit too greedy like i do and they don't appreciate what they get uh, i've seen a lot of people in my comments saying that like why do y'all want more dlc anyway you're just gonna bitch about who you get and not play the characters after three days and i can't help but cackle because that is like half the community but that's gonna do it for this video guys thank you so much for watching huge shout out to sir d master vax pc Frank the Tank H2O, uh, the Thinny, and Sir D, SX Sir D, J. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. I really need to write these names now. Thank you for supporting on Patreon or here on YouTube through that join button. Well, two of the best ways to support the channel. So if you guys are interested in that, link in the description down below to the Patreon. And you can hit that join button beside the subscribe button support to support here on YouTube. But it's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host. My name is Tootin. I love you all. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Shouting out